Okay guys, I am here with AJ. This is AJ from AJ HC Wolves. Did you get the sign, honey? Yep. Get the sign real quick. And you are the dyer behind all of this stunning yarn, you guys. Look at this stuff, right? Yeah, this, uh, this is a 46 color collection here. <laughs> all okay. this wall. Pan the Pan collection the real quick. Pan the wall. Pan it. Look at these colors. Aren't they stunning? I dare you to try to pick a favorite because I bet you can't narrow it down to three. This one's mine. This is her favorite. <laughs> um, this section right here is my favorite. If you guys have a the neon section. Okay. So, how long have you been dying? Um, six or seven years. Six or seven years? Yep. And you're Michigan based, right? Yep. I'm from Eaton Rapids, which is just south of Lansing. Most people know Lansing. So. Where can people find your yarn? The Yarn Garden in Charlotte carries. Um, yarn Garden, we've been there, we love bad. them. You can also find some at Spun in Ann Arbor. I have not been to Spun yet. You need to go. I need to go. You need to go. They have AJ Yarn, plus they have lots of stuff. Right. And then um, Knitters Master Clarkston has some. Okay. And Clarkston, Ann Arbor, and Charlotte. And Unwind in Brighton is actually Brighton. getting the full mini collection. Ooh, who does not wear so good. many? Yeah, so. Lindsay from the Yarn Garden was telling us we should buy one of every mini and make a crazy rainbow blanket. And I was like, yes. I'm in. I'm totally yeah. in on the crazy rainbow blanket, right? Yes. Where do you get your inspiration? Because you have like the coolest speckles. I don't know. You don't know you it just, just kind of hits me. Just hits you. Yeah. yeah. Because Although I do have some that were inspired by like kind of a succulent collection. So there's okay. like 11 colors of variegated, okay. variegated like multicolor things that are all inspired by different succulents. But like these just, they're it kind beautiful. of just came to me. I needed something that was not boring plain, right? not too busy. Yards. No, and that's the thing. Okay, a lot of times I walk into a yarn booth and I go straight for the crazy colorful stuff. But then you always need a solid, but I don't like solids. So these are perfect. Yeah, they work really good as tables yeah, or lace or color work. They're stunning, aren't they? Okay, and do you sell online? I do. I have an Etsy shop. It's actually ajfschools.com. Okay, so. So you can find her in multiple places in Michigan at lots of different events here in Michigan. Yep. Uh, and she was at YarnCon last weekend, so maybe she'll be back next year for you guys in Chicago. Maybe. maybe. And if not, get online and get you some AJHC wools because yeah, I love all of it. it. All of it. Just and stay tuned because I have three different shawls in the works designing with her yarn because it's so pretty. So I had excited. to make three. I couldn't just do one. I'm so excited. I am too. But okay, we'll get out of here because she really does not like this. <laughs> <laughs> we forced her into here. We're like, she you're going to be on camera. That's it. Tell her, isn't she cute? Everybody say hi to her in the comments. All right, you guys have Thanks a great day. Me, I love you. Bye. Bye. Horrible. I'm hot. Oh, I got my hair You look all nice. Up. I look horrible. I put makeup on today. For I did, yeah. You put no makeup on? <laughs> Take a photo. Oh, you saw a photo. I'm filming. Oh, okay. I'm just... hey. All right, never mind. Let's start over. I'm going to hold on. Yeah. I forgot your name again. Karen. Uh -huh. Karen. I wanted to call you Deb. I don't know why. Because we met Deb when we got here Deb at the bathroom. Got... Okay. Sure. <laughs> you guys, this is Karen. Hi. From South Carolina, and she came all the way up to Michigan. She she hoodwinked her husband into coming over here to hang out yeah. with me and be at the yarn festival. Yes. He was going to Milwaukee, and she was like, "It's on the way. Can we just, it's on the way. Yeah. We'll just swing by. It's, it's bad directions on the way, but it's on the way." She came all the way up to hang yes. out and go to the. And you got some yarn here. Yes. She got some yes. of these. I got these and this color. Yeah. Well, this one must be popular. Huh? Yeah. yeah there's only one left. left. Snap. So awesome. So guys, and I didn't even know about the Farber Festival. She didn't. Didn't. She just came hang out with me, yeah. and I was like, oh, come to the festival. Yeah. I'm an enabler. I'm like, go, go buy yarn. It's great. <laughs> so, well, thank you so much for coming and seeing me. Not like, a problem. Oh, I'm having an awesome see, time. I love meeting all you guys. Bye. Bye. 
as you can see, we had a lot of fun at the Fiber Expo. Um, I did not pick up a lot because the weekend before I was in Chicago and I was just, you know, trying to budget stuff a little better. But I did pick up two things. Um, the first being, I walked right in and there was this booth called um, Spotted U Fibers. I'll put the tag up there. Come on. Oh, I hate when it does this. There we go. Spotted U Fibers. And she had a bunch of her yarn on clearance colorway she was getting rid of. And this blue just jumped out at me. And it is called Ocean Oceanus. Oceanus. And oh my gosh, it's so pretty, isn't it? Um, I don't think I have anything in my collection quite like this, but I figured a good solid could go with a lot of different yarns. So even if I don't have anything at the moment this will go with, I knew it would go eventually. So and it was on clearance, so I just go ahead and grab this. Um the only other yarn purchase I made was over at my friend's booth of the Iron Wheel Farms. I do love them, guys. Hi, Danielle, if you guys are watching this. Hi, Andrew. Sorry. Say hi to you, too. Um, and then they had this colorway here. Isn't this pretty? So pretty. Let me put it up a little closer. It's this beautiful... Uh, give it a second to focus. There we go. Mm, mm, th there we go beautiful purples and like an aqua e mint green color it's called ireland which i loved and i bought it on their dk base which is 100 percent superwash merino um 231 yards and i bought it specifically specifically because in my knit crate this month came this beautiful i called it a blue and i had like everybody <laughs> correcting me it's a minty aqua greeny blue whatever right i don't care but it's so pretty <laughs> um oh sorry piece of my hair already on it because it's here at my house i got this i got two skeins of this and i saw this and i instantly had an idea for a shawl that will be out very soon because it's going to be a quick one but put them together see how pretty that looks with the purples oh, i love it so much so good together so when I saw it, I was like, do you have that in DK? And they said, of course we have it in DK. So I got a skein of it. That's all the yarn I bought. I did buy something else. Um, buttons. I bought these adorable buttons. And I can't seem to find where my cards are right now. So I will hopefully figure out the name of the booth I bought these at and put it right here on the screen. There are these adorable little cat buttons. And I do have a piece of paper here. I don't know why I have a piece of paper here, but I do. So hopefully I can hold these up so you can see them. She draws these and then makes them into buttons. Let me get it. There we go. This is one I got for my dear friend Al. So Al, if you see that, there's a button coming next time I see you. And then I got me this one. There we go. A little cat and an emperor penguin. Or well, a penguin. I don't know if it's an emperor Probably not. It's just a penguin. But I got these two buttons because they were super cute. And she had a bunch of bags and other stuff. It was all really, really adorable. And that's all I got, you guys. But the festival, the Fiber Expo. Sorry, it wasn't a festival. It was super, super fun. If you guys don't go to these, you should. They are so much fun. Uh, stay tuned for my next podcast because I'm going to tell you about how I find out about all these wonderful expos. Besides, you know, of course, you wonderful people telling me. There is another trick. So stay tuned for that, you guys. I guess I'll catch you guys later. Bye.